Ciao tifosi, Dan Pizzotta from Atalanta Vegas to talk about Atalanta Lazio. But before we talk about this game from this past weekend, here's just a couple of things that you kind of have to know of what happens when these two teams play. So number one, there's no such thing as home field advantage. Number two, no lead is ever safe. Number three, if you like to bet like we do in Vegas, always take the over. There's always goals in it. And at number four, Lazio fans, they really don't care about beating Atalanta. All they want to do is beat Giampiero Gasperetti. Let's face it, he's not warm and cuddly at all, but uh, Lazio fans seem to have some special hatred towards him. So at the beginning of this game, both teams are on the outside looking in at the top four positions in the Champions League. Um, they've both been really inconsistent. Lazio, of course, has been in transition, uh, changing their style of football under Sarri, trying to work with this new Sarri ball. Um, and Atalanta has probably had their worst injury crisis uh, in, in the last five years or so, um, especially with their center backs and their wing backs. Uh, Ledea went into this match potentially missing five usual starters because of injuries or suspensions. Now, another interesting factor going into this game that you got to talk about is that uh, Lazio's form away from the Stadio Olimpico has been really, really abysmal this season. While Atalanta, conversely, their home form at the Gavis Stadium has also been terrible. Uh, they only collected four points um, at home while they've collected 14 points away from home. So uh, this has prompted some comparisons about this Atalanta team to teenagers as they have way more fun outside of the house. So spoiler alert, this game ends 2-2, uh, featuring four goals and two late comeback goals from Atalanta. Uh, I'm sure Lazio fans are really annoyed that they couldn't beat Giampiero Gasperini. Uh, so the game played out as we would expect. There was tension goals and excitement. Uh, while both teams are and their fans are probably a little bit disappointed with not getting the win in this match, I'm sure us Atalanta fans are a little bit uh, more content with the results than the Lazio fans are. So the game itself, as the ball dropped in Bergamo, um, you know, in the first 10 minutes or so, it was pretty nervy. The teams were feeling each other out. Um, Atalanta's high press then started to pick up, and they were able to pin Lazio back in their own half. But let's face it, Lazio always looked really dangerous when they were able to break the press and go forward. And that is what happened in the 17th minute. Lazio got one of those rarer forays into Atalanta's half, and Chiro Immobile's shot um, from a great through ball from, I believe, Danilo Cataldi was saved well by Juan Musso, but Pedro was there to put the rebound away. 1-0, kind of against the run of play, a little disappointing. And it took Atalanta a couple minutes to get resettled after that goal, but once they did, um, you could see that their high press was working again. They were playing their game. Lazio was having a hard time uh, getting out of their own half, but it really almost didn't matter because there was not a single shot on goal. There was very few chances made. Lazio did a good job of keeping them out. And Atalanta looked really, really bad in their final third, looking kind of devoid of ideas, particularly Duvan Zapata, who was a little isolated. And it felt like the center back pairing of Lazio did well to push him wide and away from the center uh, where he could really hurt them. But as the game went on in the first half, uh, in the Basically, the last 15 seconds of the one minute of extra time, Juan Musso launches a long ball that Duvan gets 45 meters or so from goal, turns and just kind of muscles Adam Marusic all the way, pretty much almost to the goal line, and is able to beat Pepe Reina, who's probably culpable on that, along with Adam Marusic from a tight angle and makes it 1-1 at halftime with essentially the last kick of the half. I guess if you talk about territorial dominance um, and the way that the game was played, probably a just result to be 1-1 at halftime. Now, the second half was a little bit different. Um, you know, it, Atalanta and Lazio played a much more wide open game and Lazio got some, uh, got some chances and they were able to put away one in the 74th minute after Martin Barone kind of messed up uh, in the midfield and the counterattack Chiro Immobile put away. Atalanta then took a few minutes to get themselves going, and they were spurned a few chances, uh, Malinowski and Muriel specifically, but 
In the 94th minute, Martin Darun pops up after a great cross from the right-hand side is headed on, and he volleys it away. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Martin Darun doesn't score very often, but when he does, they're bangers. So in summation, to sum up the match, I just want to quote what Martin Darun said, and that was that football is a very simple game. 22 men chase after a ball for 90 minutes, and in the end, Martin Darun scores. So... 2-2, I'm sure that this Atalantino, along with others, are pretty happy with the result, uh, you know, seeing as how it went. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to hear more Atalanta content, um, please follow me on Twitter at Atalanta underscore Vegas. You can also listen to our Atalanta podcast, which is the Atalanta pod. You can follow that on Twitter at Atalanta pod. You can also follow my podcast partner, Nick, at Atalanta Passion. He does some great articles. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time and uh, ciao tifosi, forza Atalanta.